Used to be dead down. I was like jet now. We don't play ready, yo. Don't match the flicks now. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Craig G, and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today I have another drift build for you guys that I'm actually gonna be making right here. Um, I did make a wrap for this car before for a drift build, but I kind of want to revamp it. I sold this car and you know, we're just going to try it again because I didn't really like the way I had it set up the first time. I definitely have an idea of where I want to take this car. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that like button and drop a sub on the channel if you've been enjoying the content. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So right here, we do have the Nissan S15 or the, you know, Sylvia. We're just going to make this thing beautiful, man. We're going to uh, majority, keep majority of it uh, stock as far as the cosmetics and stuff. But we're just going to make it look real nice and real street like, you know what I mean? So uh, starting with the performance, let's see. So for our engine, we have a SR20 in here, of course. So it doesn't look like we can actually put the forged SR20 in here. So we may keep the stock motor um, and just upgrade it from there and see how it does. So of course, we're going to go with all Ultimate Plus parts. Uh, for our turbo, we're going to go with a dual turbo charger. But to be honest, that regular turbo is looking a lot better when it comes to our stats. But we do want the dual turbo um, because you get a better boost at low speeds. And honestly, I see a lot of people trying to correct me and say that this is actually a twin turbo. But that's wrong because the reason they call it a dual turbo is because it uses a big turbo and a small turbo twin turbos are both the same size so in this case it would be a dual turbo because it's two turbos but they're not the same size so they wouldn't be considered twin turbos of course i'm gonna put my five three pound tanks of nitrous on there which i i noticed that when i'm drifting i barely even use nitrous anyway so i'm not even sure why i put nitrous on because i barely use it um but i should start using nitrous more to link corners and keep you know scores high while i'm drifting so of course we're gonna go with our showcase suspension that's a definite and we're gonna go with the the least amount of brakes that we can which is gonna be sport brakes you know the lower tier for your brakes the softer the e-brake is and for all of my drift cars i've been going with either sport or pro brakes or the lowest that i can even stock because it softens up those brakes and it softens up that e-brake as well uh, for better transitioning we're gonna go with drag tires which obviously is ass backwards and i also had somebody comment on a video saying oh you don't know what you're talking about uh, you don't put drag tires on a drift car <sighs> Honestly, I've been saying this and I don't know how many videos the game is ass backwards. Obviously, in real life, you're not going to put drag tires on a drift car like that's common sense. But the way this game is and the way the net code is for this game, the drift tires and all that stuff, they're not good enough for drifting in this game. So you have to go out of the box. You have to use drag tires, which give you the good amount of grip that you need to be able to hold those drifts but you know people are ignorant they're not going to take time to watch the video and actually see what i got to say they just want to look at two minutes of the video see that i'm putting drag tires on it don't want to hear the explanation for it and then they go down to the comment section but you know whatever so i'm gonna have put an elite clutch on here of course and then for the gearbox uh, we want to go with the six speed uh, we're not going to go up into the seven speed or the eight speed we're just going to keep the six speed maybe going down to the five speed if it feels better showcase differential and then for our auxiliary i'm going to go with the uh two repair kits and i also had somebody in the comments tell me to start using the uh the damage increase and it says item that increases the amount of damage your vehicle deals to others you collide with and they said that it's better than the damage reduction because when cops try to hit you you actually absorb that damage and give it back to them you know what i mean so i might go with this just to see what that's like because you know i've been doing a lot more drifting at night i'm not that scared to drift at night anymore it's actually kind of fun uh but you know the police do get annoying every now and then especially when i'm trying to do an actual drift race and set a high score and the police are just messing me up the whole time that can get annoying but Drifting through the streets, running from police while drifting is actually hella fun. And I, I, I encourage you guys to try it. Going with our stance, of course, we're going to lower this thing all the way. Put some camber on it. Now, we're not going to go with too much camber this time around. Just because I want to go with more of a different look. But we're not going to go with too much camber this time around. I'm sure it shouldn't have that much of an effect on our drifting. Um, for our body kits. Now, this is where some of you may feel a little particular about what I'm going to do. But mainly, I'm thinking of just keeping this thing uh, predominantly stock. We're just going to keep this thing predominantly stock. We're not going to mess with the bumpers or the fenders too much. We may put the fenders out just a little bit, just for a little bit of a wider look. But 
other than that we're not gonna do too much when it comes to this car man we are not gonna change too much about it um we're gonna go a little bit wider out with the c west fenders we're gonna do the same in the rear uh, just a little wider out not too much you know nothing too crazy and i don't think we're gonna use a side skirt like i said we're just gonna keep things uh kind of stock here all the way around the car just for that nice clean look you know what i mean i want to keep a cleaner look um when it comes to this car this time around we're keeping the stock spoiler on there just because i feel like that looks good anyway uh, we're not gonna yeah we're not gonna go into any of these spoilers we're gonna keep that stock one on there and i'm telling you once you guys see the finished product it will be nice i'm telling you you're, you guys are gonna like it i'm pretty sure we're gonna mess with the exhaust a little bit i wish they had some better angles or you know i could just use that angle we're gonna mess with the exhaust a little bit and probably throw this one on there that doesn't look too bad at all as far as a diffuser we're not gonna go with a diffuser either this time around because like i said we're gonna keep this thing uh, mostly stock looking we're not gonna mess with it too much uh, we may put a small little splitter if they have one on the front bumper just for a little bit of extra you know a little extra but we don't want it to be too much you know they don't have any ones that just give off a little subtle you know subtle uh, change so we're probably not gonna go 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 that route I'm gonna throw this hood on there just for a little bit of flair and like i said i already have an idea where i want to go with this car for our rims what i think we're gonna do is we're gonna go with some work rims now hopefully they have the work cr kai's those are honestly my favorite rims and they look really good on the s15 for some reason um i put those on my s15 in need for speed 2015 so hopefully they have the cr kai's and there they go now the work emotion cr kai's now this is what we're gonna do with these rims so we're gonna make them bigger right and then what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna do a certain color it's not gonna be all the way dark it's gonna be more of that color that's already on there but kind of like a a more metallic uh dark gray like space gray kind of color um you guys will see what i'm talking about so we're gonna put the work cr kai's all the way around i just think these rims look so good on this car for our tires we're just gonna go with uh, some blank stretch tires we're not gonna put any uh lettering on the tires either like i said i really want to go for a more street look with this car i don't want to put too much uh extra on here so we're going with just the regular stretch tires with uh no decal and then so for our rim color we are gonna go with so you see this black color we're gonna lighten it up a little bit and then give it like a satin metallic finish and then we're gonna do that all the way around look at that now that is what i'm talking about that's that's the look that i'm going for right there that looks so clean it looks like you can go out and see this on the street you know what i mean and i just want this to be a like a crazy looking um just you know more so stock street drift car build you know what i'm saying uh now we're gonna orange this yellow just a little bit we're gonna keep this same yellow but we're gonna make it a little bit more orange right we're gonna give it a little bit more of an orange uh look to it we're gonna brighten it up a little bit and give it a little bit more orange flavor to it not too much orange but we don't want it to be too yellow but we're gonna give it a little bit of an orange flavor there we go now i like how that's looking i definitely like how that looks we're gonna save that like i said i didn't want to put a crazy wrap on the car this time around i just wanted it to look kind of crispy and like you know a nice little street car like i would drive this you know what i mean i would definitely drive. i would daily this if i had it you know comment down below what you guys think of this look right here man of course we're gonna take this out on the street and tune it a little bit to try to get it to uh, get sideways you know what i'm saying and to, and to look good while it's doing it so uh first before we get out of here let's go ahead and edit this exhaust oh man oh yeah the sound of that sr20 is really nice we're gonna make it a little more aggressive i kind of don't want to shoot too much flames with this so we're gonna go with more of a subtle overrun you know a couple flames here and there not too much you know what i'm saying oh yeah that sounds good like i said we don't go with pipe resonance too much because i don't like that echoey sound and i think this is ready to take out on the road man this is so clean and just like i, I love the way it, it just looks real jdm you know what i mean so we're gonna take it out of the garage and uh see if we can get this thing sideways all right guys oh wow yeah that looks good that looks really good to me in my opinion i really like the look of this i like how it's more stock you know what i'm saying it looks more stock i think it looks really nice in my opinion 
we're gonna take it over to this drift track of course and then we're gonna see how this thing does man before i tuned it before and i didn't really like how it was i, I just didn't really like how it felt that's probably because I, I swapped you know an engine into it i didn't go with the original sr20 and i just I, I swapped the engine into it and it just it just didn't work out you know what i mean so maybe this time around it'll be different So I haven't done any tuning yet. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so not horrible, but we do need to do some tuning. So let's go ahead and put the steering sensitivity all the way at high, downforce all the way at low. And now we're gonna head around the track again to see how it does. Oh, this thing automatically feels better after I tuned it a little bit. After I tune that steering, it does feel better. It's a little slow, you know, not too much power. We could use a little more power. You know what? I actually, I really like the way this feels as pertaining to the other cars. It is a little slow and a little different, different to get used to, but at the same time, I think I like it. And I think it could offer for some, you know, some, some cleaner looking drifts um, if I get it tuned correctly. You know, we're gonna get around here one more time. Go ahead and hit this track, see if we can get a better score, but we're getting over 100K, which is not bad. I may need to put a new gearbox on this thing, so we could probably pull a little bit more power out of one of these gears. This thing definitely slides with no issue though. Definitely slides with no issue. And look at that. I haven't even ran into anything on the track. And look at it. Look, look how scratched up it is. Is that from like because I'm drifting and um, I'm like throwing rocks up at the car or something like that with my tires. I don't know, but your car gets scratched up way too easily in this game. I'm not sure why and it kind of looks bad right now. But like I said, man, I'm liking the look of this S15. I like it looks so just clean and crisp. Those works the archives do it justice. I'm telling you, they do this car justice. I'm glad I went with the more stock look on this car. Like I said, I didn't want to go too crazy with the body kits and the fenders and all of that. I just wanted to give it like a subtle look, but a still nice street look. And this still looks like, like I said, this can be someone's daily, you know what I mean? That they kick sideways whenever they want to, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and try one more thing. Like I said, I'm liking this car. I'm liking this either way. You know, it's not super crazy, you know what I'm saying? And it's not super, super like the best drift car in the game, but I like the feeling and uh, you know, I'm liking it. So we got a six speed. We're gonna go down to a five speed and try it out. And we may even try out a seven or an eight speed just to see how it feels. So it looks like, it already feels like we're getting a little bit more power out of third or second gear. Let's see how it goes. Actually, I think that five speed might've been what we needed. Oh yeah, that five speed was definitely the icing on the cake, man. That that made it feel a lot better, honestly. Let's hit this track one more time. And 
And ever since I, I figured out, or ever since uh, we figured out that you can uh, lower the tier of the brakes to be able to soften up the e-brake for better transitioning, I've actually been using the e-brake a lot more for transitioning because it's just a soft little tap, you know what I mean? And your car just seems like it swings to the other side perfectly. And you can just, you know, transition your drifts and go and hit another corner. And it's just beautiful, man. So they still got a little bit of work to do with the physics on this game. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I'm not sure if they are going to do any more work with the physics. But um, the drifting is in an okay spot. There's a lot of people complaining about the drifting. The only thing that's really wrong with the drifting is that the, the, the type of parts that you have to put on your car to achieve good drifts in this game. I think it's ass backwards and they need to make a change for it. But comment down below what you guys think of this s15 man this is real jdm right here you know what i'm saying <laughs> real jdm right here if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like and hit that sub button if you've been enjoying the content on the channel i appreciate you guys we are at 12,000 subscribers over 12k on the way to 13k man 20k up next and 100k after that man i appreciate y'all for all the support i'll catch y'all in the next one Deuces.